Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to kill Sakibana easy and by easy I don't mean to kill him by some kind of a glitch or to one shot him. I'm going to give you tips and tricks because if you're watching this video maybe you have problems defeating this boss. When the battle starts you'll see that he is not a yukai. He is a human like you and like you he has key. So try to take advantage of this. It's really easy when you take his key out. As you can see he will try to charge to me and this will cost him a lot of key. So I'm going to hit him twice and I'm going to execute him and deal 1000 damage. He has two strong attacks and one of them is the charge attack. It's really easy to dodge this, you simply have to dash to him the second before he will hit you. As you can see I managed to dodge his attack and this will cost him a lot of key. So this is the perfect opportunity to hit him 1-2 times. Don't try to fight him if he don't has low key or if he didn't perform any attack because this will happen. The second strong attack is this one, the spinning blade attack. This will do tons of damage. This is strong attack but it's a weak one too because he will use a lot of his key. This is the best opportunity to do some damage to him and maybe to execute him. To dodge this attack just pay attention when he swings his sword and do some kind of a magic. If he do it he has two options from there. To make a charge attack or to do the spinning blade attack. So try to stay close to him but not too close or you might die instantly. The next attack he can do is to summon his spirit. Just stay behind the columns and it won't do any damage to you. Basically this is for this boss. Don't fight him if he didn't use his key or if he didn't perform any abilities. Thanks for watching and if you found this helpful make sure to like this video. See you in my next video. Bye!